Hey guys, let's check this problem out. It says force of 80 newton. First of all, this is just a paper cut, paper cutter machine, and it says that this force of 80 newton act on the handle of the paper cutter at A, right there. Um, determine the moment created by this force about the hinge O. Okay, perfect. If theta equals 60, okay, for the first part, theta equals 60 for the first part. And then it says, at what angle should the force be applied so that the moment it creates is maximum? Be careful because, you know, it's just look at the problem like that and don't pay attention too much. The maximum distance or the maximum angle or the, the, the angle for the maximum moment should be when the distance and the force are perpendicular and you can feel compelled to say 90 degrees. And that would be true, except the force is not applied exactly at this line. So if you look at the center line, like that, there is a 10 millimeter distance from the center line to whatever the force is applied. And the force is applied here. Right there. That means that if I'm calculating a moment with respect to this point, when you do the force decomposition, the force will be applied here and there if you use it like that in with those distances like that. Or if you use the same the same direction, but this distance is gonna matter here this 10 millimeters. So what I'm going to do in order to solve this problem easier, I'm going to do this, look. I'm going to do this, and I'm gonna increase the scale, and I'm going to put the force, whatever the force is, right there. That is the force. And this angle here, for the first part, is going to be 60 degrees. That's what the problem is stating. Now when I decompose those, I'm going to find one component which is going to be perpendicular to the distance because this is going to be the point O and the other is going to be parallel to the distance, to the point O. And I'm sorry, the point O is here, not there. And this distance is going to be 10 millimeters, meaning this component would be 80 multiply by sine 60 and this component will be 80 cosine 60. Now if we do some measure of moments about the point O, which is this one, assuming for the summation I can do that if I want to, okay? Counterclockwise positive. Now it would be first this force which is 80 cosine 80 sine 60 multiplied by this distance and this distance is given here as 400 millimeters 400 millimeters you can put it like 0.4 meters and what is the direction the direction will be clockwise meaning that will be negative then because it's I assume counterclockwise as positive. Now this other one is going to be 80 cosine 60. That's the value of the component. And the distance will be 10 millimeters. Once again, this is going to be clockwise in this direction, clockwise. And the distance is 10 millimeters, uh, meaning 0 0.01. 0 0.01 meters. This is Newton, this is Newton, this is meters. How much will be this? Will be negative 80 sine 60. That has to be really close to 90 degrees, but not 90 degrees. Times 0.4 minus 80 times cosine 60. I mean, 
the angle is 60, it's not going to be really close to nothing. I was thinking already in the other part. That is 0 0.01. That would be 28.11 negative. So that would be negative 20 in summation of moments at all under the given conditions would be 28.11 newton meter clockwise. That would be the answer for the first one. Now for the second one, it says at what angle should the force be applied? That's the part that I was referring that it has to be close to 90 degrees. So the result is a maximum. And what is the maximum moment? Well then what we have to do is that basically we are going to use the same equation, but because I don't know this angle, this is, I'm going to call it theta and theta. So I'm going to, the, the function, let's say, the function, the moment, with respect to O for the second part will be minus this one 80 times 80 times 0.4 why is 0.4 yeah the 80 times 0.4 how much is that 80 times 0.4 that will be 32 minus 32 sine theta minus 8 0 0.8 right 80 times 0 0.01 0 0.8 cosine theta that will be the function that we created here. Now we're looking for a maximum value. And how do you find maximum value? You take the first derivative of the moment with respect to the angle in this case and make it zero. So the first derivative of the moment will be what? This is going to be derivative of the sign will be uh, cosine. I'm missing something up here. No, it's okay. This is cosine, so that would be negative 32 cosine theta, cosine is sine plus 0 0.8 minus times minus is plus, so it's going to be sine theta, that would be the value. I think that should be what we are looking for. Derivative you know, the hundred percent. Okay, yeah, that would be the the function that we are using. Now, this function, when we make it zero, then we have to solve for the angle. What would be the angle? The angle would be I pass this to the other side and divide it by this. So it's going to be sine theta divided by cosine theta. It's going to be equal to 0, 32 divided by 0 0.8. So the tangent theta will be 32 divided by 0 0.8, 40. That means that the inverse tangent of that should be 88, uh, 40. So theta will be 88.57 degrees. You see, 88.57 degrees. That's what I was telling you, that this value is going to be really, really, really close to whatever we were looking for. Because I say 90 first, I say 90. If I don't have these 10 millimeters, then that will be 90 degrees, no matter what. But because of those 10 millimeters, it's not exactly 90 degrees. And now the problem is asking us for the, the moment. So you just plug this into here. And into here, and the moment will be clockwise, of course, because it's negative. 32 sine of that plus 0.8. I know I put plus, but I put plus also here, and I know it's going to be negative at the end. 0.8 times cosine of the answer, and that, that will be 32.01. Um, Newton meter 
and of course it's going to be clockwise because it's negative here. That's it. It's no complication for that uh, problem. Just a little bit of derivative there. Thank you for watching, guys. I hope that you see me later.